Evolution Evolution is the gradual change occurring in living organisms over a long duration. This is a very slow going process through which development of organisms is achieved. All the stages and changes occurred in various components ranging from stars and planets in space to the biosphere present on the earth should be included in the study of evolution. But what is evolution? Well, formation of new species due to changes in specific characters of several generations of living organisms as a response to natural selection is called as evolution. 3.5 billion years ago, life had been non-existent on the earth. At the beginning, there may have been only simple elements in the ocean, on the earth, and simple type of organic and inorganic compounds may have been formed from those. Complex compounds like proteins and nucleic acids may have formed over the long period from those simple compounds. First primitive types of cells may have been formed from the mixture of different types of organic and inorganic compounds. Number of those cells may have increased at the cost of surrounding chemicals. There may have been some differences among those cells and according to the principle of natural selection, some may have shown good growth and some may have perished which could not adjust with the surrounding. At present, crores of species of plants and animals with huge diversity regarding shape and complexity are present on the earth. Animal diversity ranges from the unicellular amoeba and paramecium to man and giant whale. The plant diversity consists of various species ranging from unicellular chlorella to the huge banyan tree. The life exists on Earth everywhere from equator to both the poles. Organisms are present at all the places like air, water, land, rock, etc. Humans have shown curiosity about origin of life and reasons for such a great diversity in life present on the Earth since ancient period. Different theories about origin and evolution of life have been proposed till today, of which theory of gradual development of living organisms is accepted. Theory of Evolution According to this theory, first living material, that is, protoplasm, has been formed in ocean. In due course of time, unicellular organism was formed. Gradually, changes occurred in the unicellular organisms from which larger and more complex organisms were formed. All those changes were slow and gradual. Duration of all these changes is almost 300 crore years. Changes and development in living organisms has been all round and multidimensional and this led to evolution of different types of organisms. Hence, this overall process is called as evolution which is organizational. Progressive development of plants and animals from the ancestors having different structural and functional organization is called evolution. Evidences of Evolution Collective thinking upon all above-mentioned theories implies that evolution is everlasting process of changes. However, it needs proof to prove it. Following are various proofs available in support of the theories mentioned above. Morphological Evidences Various similarities like structure of mouth, position of eyes, structure of nostrils and ear pinnae and thickly distributed hairs on body are seen in animals. Whereas similarities in characters like leaf shape, leaf venation, 
leaf petiole, etc., occur in case of plants. This indicates that there are some similarities in those groups and hence it proves that their origin must be same and must have common ancestors. Anatomical Evidences If you carefully observe the pictures, there doesn't seem any superficial similarity between human hand, cat's foreleg, flipper of whale and potassium of bat. Yes, there doesn't seem to be any similarity, right? Similarly, use of each of those structures is different in respective animals. However, there is similarity in structure of bones and bony joints in organs of each of those animals. This similarity indicates that those animals may have common ancestors. Vestigial Organs Degenerated or underdeveloped useless organs of organisms are called as vestigial organs. In living organisms, sudden development of new tissues or organs for living in changing environment is not possible. Instead, existing organs undergo gradual changes. Mostly, a specific structure in the body is useful under certain situation. However, same structure under different situation may become useless or even harmful. So what happens? Such structure begins to degenerate under such situation as per the principle of natural selection. This doesn't happen suddenly. It takes thousands of years for a structure to disappear. Such organs are seen in different phases of disappearance in different animals. Such organ, though non-functional in certain organisms, it may be functional in other organisms. That is, it is not vestigial in other organisms. Appendix, which is useless to human, is useful and fully functional organ in ruminants. Similarly, muscles of ear pinna, which are useless to human, are useful in monkeys for movement of ear pinna. Various vestigial organs like tailbone, wisdom teeth, and body hairs are present in body of human being. Paleontological Evidences Large number of organisms get buried due to disasters like flood, earthquake, volcano, etc. Remnants and impressions of such organisms remain preserved underground. Remnants means leftovers. These are called as Fossils. Study of fossils is an important aspect of study of evolution.